In this video, we are going to be solving the physics 217 pass question for the ECZ exam. Now, question one says, figure 1.1 is a full scale drawing of an aluminum bar. Now, if this is your first time of hitting this channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell for subsequent videos. Now, it says A says calculate the volume of the bar. Now, how do you calculate volume of a cuboid? Now, in order to calculate the volume of a cuboid, the volume it's giving us the length times the breadth times the height. So here, our length is going to be 5 cm. Our breadth is going to be, that's the width, it's going to be 2 cm. And our height is going to be what? That's... Um, 2 cm so this is 5 times 2 times 2 now this is going to give us 20 cm cube so that's the final answer of the volume of the bar now b says b says what other measurements are needed to determine the density of aluminium now what is density density is giving us density it's giving us mass over volume of material so now the other material needed for to determine the density it's going to be what that's called the mass okay so that's our final answer now c says when measure when placed on a measuring pan a reading of 56 gram is obtained on figure 1.2, to draw a pointer to show a reading of 56 gram. Now, if you watch, um, this point is 0, this is 5, this is 10, this is 15, 20, and so on to um, 55. Now, 56 is going to be, now if you want to draw your pointer, sorry. Okay, so this is going to be where my pointer, sorry. Is where my pointer will point it so that's it's 56 grams so that's 56 grams okay so I, I says find the density of the aluminium bar okay so density is giving us as mass over volume now this is the same thing as our mass is 56 in brackets this is a g why our volume is in um 20 that's in cm cube so 56 divided by 20 okay so um when you reduce 56 over 20 this will give you uh two here is going to give us um that's 10 two here is going to give us um that would be 20 2 in 5 is going to be 2, 2 in 16 is going to be 8. Okay, 2 can also go, you do 2 here is going to be 5, and 2 here is going to be 14. So if you do 14, um, 5 into 14, so this is going to be 2.5 times 2, this will be 10, you bring your 4 down, 5 into 4, you cannot go, you put your... Um, Zero five into forty is going to be eight. So this is going to be two point eight. So density is um this is going to be equal to two point eight G per cm cube. Final answer. Question two says a mango of mass two hundred grams drops from a mango tree as shown in figure two point one. It takes one second to strike the muddy ground and penetrate 4 cm into the ground. Take g to be 10 meter per second square. Okay, now it says from what height did the mango drop? Okay, okay. So now we are trying to calculate the height the mango dropped from. Now notice we were given some certain parameters. Like, um, we're giving um, the mass of the mango, which is 200 grams. We're giving the time it takes to strike the muddy ground, which is one second. And uh, we're giving um, 4 cm, which was the distance in which it penetrated the ground. Now, in order to solve this, 
Okay, the first equation we are going to be applying here is going to be V is equal to U. Now, I, since it's dropping from um, the top, so it's going to be plus is positive gravity. So this is GT. Okay, now I want you to know that whenever something is dropping from up, U is always equal to zero. So this is V is equal to what? GT. So from here, you can uh, say V will be, now our gravity is 10 times the time, which is 1, which is what? 10 meter per second. Okay, now we know this. We can now use this to now calculate our height. So, which is going to be, our height is going to be V squared is equal to U squared plus 2GH. Now, also, know that your U is also at 0. So, this is V, that's 10 squared is equal to 2 times gravity times height. Therefore, your height is going to be um, 10 squared over 2 times 10, which is going to, going to give us 100 over 20. Now, 20 here is into 1. 20 into 100 is going to give us 5. So, our height is going to be 5 um, meters. Okay? Okay? So, that is exactly the height at which the mango fell from. Okay, now we've established the height the mango fell from. So, the next question says, what is the kinetic energy of the mango before it just strikes the ground? Now, you need to recall that formula for our kinetic energy, it's what? Half times mass times velocity squared. Okay? So now, our mass was given us, let's check out the value of our mass, that's um, 200 grams, and our velocity, our V, we got our V as 10. Okay? So if our mass... It's um, 200 grams, which is equal to 0 0.2 kg. Our V is going to be 10 meter per second. So from here, we can now calculate our kinetic energy. Our kinetic energy is going to be half times our mass, which is 0 0.2, times our velocity, which is um, 10 square. Okay, so this is going to be half times 0 0.2 times 10 square is going to give us um, 100. So 2 into 1 here, 2 into 100, it's going to give us um, 50. So this is going to be 0 0.2 times 50. So um, when you do 0 0.2 times 50, 50 times 2 is going to give us 100. You bring back your decimal place, so you're going to have 10.0. So our final answer here is going to be 10. Point zero joules. So that is the kinetic energy of the mango just before it strikes the ground. If you've not hit the subscribe button, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you can get more videos from us. Stay tuned as we solve more questions.